I'm standing in front of the Timber Ridge Presbyterian Church in Rockbridge County, Virginia. This stone church was built in 1756. This church has a connection to my family historically and also a connection to the history of Texas and I want to tell you all just a little bit about this. My name is Ted Allen Campbell and my father was Gene Allen Campbell. My grandfather was Elam Allen Campbell who moved from Tennessee to Texas when he was a very young man. His father was James Allen Campbell who tried to move to Texas but was unsuccessful at that. His own father was John Watson Campbell who lived in Tennessee and John Watson's father was a man named Thomas Campbell who had grown up in Wilson County, Tennessee but then moved to Cannon County, Tennessee when he was a young man. Thomas Campbell's father was Archibald Campbell. Archibald Campbell had been born in the area of Roanoke, Virginia and moved to Wilson County, Tennessee. Archibald's father was William Campbell, one of the early settlers in the Roanoke area, and in fact Campbell Avenue in Roanoke, Virginia is named for him. William's father was Malcolm Campbell, my sixth great-grandfather, and he was one of the very earliest settlers in the Roanoke area, made one of the first land claims there. The will of Malcolm Campbell named three men as his executors, Nathan Peoples, Daniel Lyle, and Archibald Alexander. It names his son Archibald and, quote, my trusty friend Samuel Lyle as executors of his will. All four of these men, Nathan Peoples, Daniel Lyle, Samuel Lyle, and Archibald Alexander, were founding members of the Timber Ridge Presbyterian Church that had been organized in 1754. We know that Samuel and Daniel Lyle had come from Larne in Antrim in Northern Ireland. In fact, Dale and I visited Larne in 2013 and we observed this monument to Scots-Irish folk from Larne who immigrated to America. Larne is on the coast, it's a seacoast town, and in fact it is just about 12 or 14 miles across the strait to the Kintyre Peninsula of Scotland, which is one of the prominent Campbell's areas of Scotland. Daniel Lyle from Larne did the stonework on this church. It's absolutely amazing for me to think that the stonework behind me was laid by a man who signed the will of my great-great-great-great-great-great grandfather Malcolm Campbell. Samuel Lyle built a table for the celebration of the Lord's Supper that became part of the church in 1756 and is still displayed prominently at the front of the church. Here I am standing behind that table uh, when I visited in June of 2015. So there's little doubt that my ancestor Malcolm Campbell, my sixth great-grandfather, was connected with the Timber Ridge congregation. He doesn't seem to have been a member of the congregation, but all four of the men who were named in his will were in fact founding members of that congregation. I'm standing just outside the gate of the cemetery of the church, and now I want to show you its connection to Texas history. As I pan around here, you can see the cemetery, the road there, and then right across the street is a house. You can't see it, but the Texas flag is flying up there. This is an 1848 house, but on this site there was a log cabin, and in that log cabin on March 2nd, 1793, Sam Houston was born. There is a Texas State Historical Marker just down the way marking this important site. Malcolm Campbell died in 1773, 20 years before Sam Houston was born, so they didn't really intersect each other. However, the Campbell family of Roanoke, Virginia says that Malcolm Campbell's wife, Isabella, was in fact Isabella Houston and from the same family. So it's quite possible that our ancestor Malcolm Campbell was in fact related by marriage to the Houston family that had settled at Timber Ridge. Timber Ridge is a beautiful, haunting, historical spot, and I hope you get a chance to visit it someday.